understand if that Jumanta was Vishwaru. He had left home because his parents were planning to get him married and he didn't want to enter into the great ashram. So he left home and he went and he also he had become a sannyas. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ke ek aur bhai the Vishwarupa. तो वो घर छोड़ के चले गए थे क्योंकि उनके माता पिता उनका विवाह कराना चाहते थे लेकिन वो गृहस्थ आश्रम में प्रवेश नहीं करना चाहते थे तो इसलिए वो घर छोड़ के संन्यास मिल गए सो वेन द फर्स्ट सन विश्वरूपनाथ they thought if nimai gets education it will not be good for him he may also want to renounce the world so we won't send him to school anymore to jab unka pehla putra vishwarup is prakar sanyas leke chala ja chuka tha to uske mata pita ne socha ke agar nimai ko bhi shiksha prapt hogi to wo bhi is prakar sanyas le lega to hum usko kuch shiksha prapt hone nahi denge isliye wo unhe vidyalay nahi bhejte the So when he might didn't go to school anymore, then he would get into a lot of mischief, and he would do fun, unusual things, like he would sit in the garbage one day. His mother said she, mother said she came, and she found him sitting in the garbage among all the pots which had been thrown out, the clay pots which were used for cooking. He was sitting there with all of this garbage, and mother said she was shocked. Why are you sitting there? So, जब निमाय विद्यालय नहीं जाते थे, तो बहुत शरारत किया करते थे। तो एक बार वो ऐसे शरारत कर रहे थे, कचरे की जगह जाके बैठ जाते थे। तो एक बार जहाँ उनके माँ मटके पड़े थे, गंदे मटके, तो निमाय जाके वहाँ उन मटकों के बीच में बैठ गया। तो माँ सची आश्चर्यचकित हो गई निमाय आप क्यों इधर बैठा है तो निमाय ने अपनी माता को बोला मुझे कैसे पता क्या जगह साफ है क्या अशुद्ध है आप मुझे तो विद्यालय भेजते ही नहीं हो मुझे कैसे पता क्या सही है और क्या गलत है so then all the neighbors in the community there in mayapur they also told jagannath mishra and sachi mata that this is not very good that you don't let your son go to school you know you're worried about him leaving home and becoming a sanyasi but this is not the way you have to depend just see what is the will of the lord what is god the will of lord krishna If Lord Krishna wants your son to leave home, you will leave home. If Lord Krishna wants you to stay at home, you will stay at home. You have to depend on Krishna. You can't just stop him from having education. It's not right. So, so, जब आस पड़ोसी ऐसे देखते थे, तो उन्होंने माँ सच्ची को बोला कि आप निमाय को विद्यालय नहीं भेज रहे हो ये अच्छा नहीं है आपको उसे विद्यालय भेजना चाहिए उसे सिखाना चाहिए तो आप डरते हो कि आगे निमाय चल के संन्यास ले लेगा या नहीं लेकिन ऐसा नहीं करना चाहिए आपको कृष्णा के ऊपर निर्भर रहना चाहिए अगर कृष्णा चाहेगा तो आपका पुत्र संन्यास ले लेगा नहीं चाहेगा तो नहीं लेगा so in this way lord and lord chaitanya are we can say nimai went back to school and he got his education and later on mother said she arranged marriage for him first wife was there uh, lakshmi priya unfortunately while chaitanya mahaprabhu was traveling in bangladesh at that time lakshmi priya was bitten by the snake तो इस प्रकार फिर निमाई को विद्यालय भेजा उसकी माता ने और वो पढ़ाई किए और फिर उसका पहला विवाह कराया लक्ष्मी प्रिया से लेकिन दुर्भाग्यवश ऐसा हुआ एक बार निमाई जब बाहर गए थे 
तो एक सांप आया और उनको दस के उनका मृत्यु हो गया था so that she was buried and she added and after a short time another second wife was buried this was vishnu priya and she was a, a young girl daughter of a nice brahmin of family and she seemed like a natural very nice wife for chaitanya mahaprabhu so he had a nice wife very faithful very chaste and he had a very loving mother but chaitanya mahaprabhu gave them up to leave home to become sanyasi so is prakar se uh unki pehli patni ka mrityu ho gaya tha fir unka dusra vivah kiya gaya vishnu priya ke sath to unka paas is prakar se bahut achhi kanya ki vishnu priya ne ek achhe brahman parivar ki thi तो उनके पास माता अच्छी माता थी माँ सच्ची अच्छी धर्म पत्नी थी लेकिन फिर भी चैतन्य महाप्रभु ने घर छोड़ दिया सन्यास सन्यास लेने के लिए अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई has to give krishna consciousness to the whole world therefore he left the home so hame yahan par lakshya samajhna chahiye ki shri nimai kyu ghar chhod ke gaya kyunki agar nimai ghar mein rahega to wo apni maa ko aur apni patni ko krishna bhavna mein de sakta hai lekin agar bahar jayega sanyas lega to pure vishva bhar mein krishna bhavna mein ko baant sakta hai Chaitanya Mahaprabhu displays taught he taught us his mood in the famous statement Prithi Viti Archiyat Nagar Adigram Sarvatra Prachar Hai Be Mora The holy name will be chanted in every town and village around the world. तो श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु का उद्देश्य हमें इस श्लोक से पता पड़ता है कि पृथ्वी के या फिर नगर आदि ग्राम सर्वत्र नाम कि भगवान का पवित्र नाम विश्व भर के हर गांव हर ग्राम में बोला जाएगा so, चैतन्य महाप्रभु होम एट एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर गंगा and katwa is where the ashram of keshava bharati is and it was keshava bharati who initiated him into this sanya this prakar 24 varsh ki umar mein chaitanya mahaprabhu ghar se nikle aur wo seedhe gaye katwa aur wahan par keshava bharati maharaj the jinse jinhone chaitanya mahaprabhu ko sanyas ashram mein dikshit kiya earlier mahaprabhu had gone to gaya and then gaya he had taken diksha from ishwara puri to so, pehle chaitanya mahaprabhu gaya gaye the aur wahan unhone diksha li thi ishwar puri se when he came back from puri he came through a place called kanainath sala kanainath sala There's a place now in what's called Jharkhand, the state of Jharkhand. But anyway, can I not tell we have Iskon Temple there now? It's very, very special place. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came from Gaya to Kanai Nath Sala, and there he had darshan Krishna. He saw Krishna. तो चैतन्य महाप्रभु जब गया से निकले तो वो एक स्थान पर आए थे कनाई नाटशाला एक बहुत महत्वपूर्ण स्थान है अभी अंतरराष्ट्रीय कृष्ण भावना में संघ का मंदिर भी है वहां पे तो जब चैतन्य महाप्रभु वहां कनाई नाटशाला में आए वहां उनको कृष्ण का दर्शन हुआ तो He'd been teaching nyaya, logic, but now he's become a 
devotee and he just wants to chant the holy name of Krishna and he's in ecstasy thinking of Krishna and chanting the holy name and discussing topics of Krishna. So, pehle Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki ruchi nyay mein hoti thi, wo nyay padhate the, tark vitark karte the, lekin abhi wo bhakt ban gaye jab gaya se aaye. वो कृष्ण का नाम लेने में उनको रुचि था और हमेशा परम आनंद में रहते थे कृष्ण का नाम लेते हुए और कृष्ण कथा कहते हुए सो दे स्टे इन होम फॉर सम टाइम आफ्टर हिज इनिशिएशन बट देन ही डिसाइडेड इट वाज टाइम फॉर हिम टू लीव द होम एंड गो आउट एंड गो टू प्रीच गिव द होली नेम वो, वो कुछ समय घर में रुके दीक्षा के बाद लेकिन फिर उन्होंने ये तय किया कि अब सही समय है घर से निकल जाने का और दूसरों को जाके भगवत नाम देने का महाप्रभु महाप्रभु ने जो किया उन्होंने दूसरों को वो करने के लिए प्रभावित नहीं किया कि घर छोड़ने के लिए उन्होंने दूसरों को कहा कि आप जो स्थान में हो उसी स्थान में रहो परंतु कृष्ण के बारे में सुनो भक्तों का संग करो चैतन्य महाप्रभु क्षेत्र Kurma Kshetra is when you come out from Jagannath Puri and go to south, going towards Vishakhapatna. Halfway between Puri and Vishakhapatna, there is this wonderful temple, ancient temple called Kurma Kshetra, which had been ren really renovated by Ramanuja Chari. So, uh, जब हम पुरी से निकलते हैं तब विशाखापटना और पुरी के बीच में ये स्थान आता है कुर्मा क्षेत्र तो चैतन्य महाप्रभु यहाँ गए थे कुर्मा क्षेत्र में वहां पर एक बहुत सुंदर मंदिर है और उस मंदिर का पुनः सजावट किया था श्री रामानुजाचार्य तो महाप्रभु कुर्मा क्षेत्र कुर्मा क्षेत्र ब्राह्मण ब्रम टू इज होम एंड फेट चैतन्य महाप्रभु एंड ऑनर हिम and then when it came time for mahaprabhu to leave the, this brahman i said to chaitanya mahaprabhu take me with you i cannot tolerate any more the pains of material life let me go with you so chaitanya mahaprabhu purva kshetra mein ek brahman ke ghar aaye brahman ne acche se chaitanya mahaprabhu ka satkar kiya unhe prasadam khilaya और फिर जब चैतन्य महाप्रभु जा रहे थे उस ब्राह्मण ने कहा आप मुझे अपने साथ ले जाओ ये भौतिक क्लेश को मैं नहीं झेल पा रहा हूँ चैतन्य महाप्रभु कृष्ण उपदेश हमारा गाय गुरु हंग खर देश Wherever you go, whoever you meet, you tell them about Krishna, and in this way you become a spiritual teacher. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Brahman who said, "No, no, no. You are leaving the place to go. This is not the right way. So, they said, "Go and tell the people that the Lord is the Lord of the world. 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 The Lord is the Lord of the world." Mahaprabhu didn't want him to leave home. He said, "You stay here, but you tell people about Krishna." Mahaprabhu didn't want him to leave home. He said, "You stay here, but you tell people about Krishna." Mahaprabhu didn't want him to leave home. He said, "You stay here, but you tell people about Krishna." Mahaprabhu didn't want him to leave home. He said, "You stay here, but you tell people about Krishna." Mahaprabhu didn't want him to leave home. He said, "You stay here, but you tell people about Krishna." Mahaprabhu didn't want him to leave home. He said, "You stay here, but you tell people about Krishna." Mahaprabhu didn't want him to leave home. He said, "You stay here, but you tell people about Krishna." Mahaprabhu didn't want him to leave home. He said, "You stay here, but you tell people about Krishna." Mahaprabhu didn't want him to Uh, he was born in a very wealthy family. His father and his uncle were maintaining all the brahmanas in Bengal, and that's including both east and west Bengal. 
There was one bingo in the text. So, ऐसा ही आदेश श्री चैतन्य महापुरुषी को तो उनका जन्म एक बहुत ही धनी परिवार में हुआ था इतना धनी परिवार था कि उनके पिता देखभाल करते थे बंगाल का यानी पूर्व बंगाल और बंगाल ऐसे अलग नहीं होता तो रघुनाथ दास But he had a young wife, and his family was very rich. He said, "No, I want to go and be with Mahaprabhu." But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him, "No, you stay at home. He says, Don't be a sahaja. Don't make everything so cheap. Go home and behave like a normal person. Keep Krishna in your heart." रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी जी की भी एक पत्नी थी तो वे भी चैतन्य महाप्रभु को बोले थे कि उनको घर छोड़ के जाना है चैतन्य महाप्रभु ने बोला नहीं आप घर में रहो सब ये सब चीज को इतना सहज मत बनाओ आप घर में रहो एक सही सज्जन की तरह घर में रहो और हृदय में कृष्ण को याद करो So you have to understand the teachings of Mahaprabhu. That Mahaprabhu's followers mostly they were in the family life, and Lord Nityananda he had two wives. He had children also. He had a son, Virabhadra. He had a daughter, Ganga Devi. तो हमें चैतन्य महाप्रभु के अनुयायियों के जीवन से सीखना है उनके अधिक अनुयायी So Virabhadra didn't marry Sri Ramchari. So that was the end of the line of Lord Nityananda. So Virabhadra ne vivaan nahi kiya. Abey Brahmachari rahe. To wahan par Bhagwan Nityananda Prabhu ka vamsha shamaat hua. Some people claim Nityananda vamsha. Right? You hear the Nityananda vamsha. They say they are the descendants of Lord Nityananda. No, they have some connection. Maybe they're from the village. Where Lord Nityananda had passed on, maybe they were initiated in that line coming through Lord Nityananda, but there was no direct descendant after Lord Nityananda's son or son that they were born. So, we have heard that some people say that we are Nityanand Bhamsaj. Maybe they have some connection with Nityanand Prabhu. Maybe they are from the village where Lord Nityanand Prabhu was born. परंतु वास्तव में जो उनका वंशज है वो वीरभद्र के बाद नहीं बढ़ा क्योंकि उन्होंने विवाह नहीं किया दे क्लेम दे आर द ऑथराइज्ड डिसेंडेंट्स ऑफ लॉर्ड नित्यानंदा सो वी से ऑल राइट देन डू द वर्क ऑफ लॉर्ड नित्यानंदा गो एंड डिलीवर जगाय एंड मदाय तो बहुत लोग हैं वो कहते हैं हम नित्यानंद वंशज हैं तो हम कहते हैं ठीक है अगर आप नित्यानंद वंशज हो तो जो नित्यानंद प्रभु ने किया वो काम करो जाके जगाए और मदाई का उद्धार करो डोंट जस्ट सेट एंड से वी आर द आचार्यस बिकॉज़ वी आर बोर्न इन द थ्रू इन द लाइन ऑफ नित्यानंदा यू हैव टू डू द वर्क ऑफ लॉर्ड नित्यानंदा दिस इज व्हाट वी नो लॉर्ड नित्यानंदा वाज गोइंग विद हरि दास प्रीति गरी गरी गिया करो ए बिचा बोलो कृष्णा 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 तो तो जो लोग कहते हैं कि आप नित्यानंद प्रभु के हैं आप खाली ऐसा बोल के अपना घर में नहीं बैठा रहो जाओ जाके आदेश दिया था नित्यानंद प्रभु के प्रति घरे घरे जाओ करो भिक्षा भज कृष्णा बोलो कृष्णा करो कृष्ण शिक्षा Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's followers were people like Lord Nityananda, Advaita Acharya. He had six sons, six sons. 
His wife was Sita. She was also a great devotee. Advaita Acharya had six sons. All the son, Achutananda, was a great devotee of Chaitanya Advaita had six sons, three were devotees and three were asada, means they were smarter Brahman. <laughs> they were not the Vaishnava, they didn't embrace the Vaishnava philosophy, rather they took the smarter so, Advaita Acharya ke chhe bete the, teen Vaishnav bhakt the, or teen asar the, yani ki wo smart brahman the, unho ne Vaishnav siddhant ko nahi apnaya, wo smart brahman rahe. But three were very great devotees, and they were full, very much full faith in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So much faith, that when Achyutananda was a young boy, a young child of only four years old, when he heard that Mahaprabhu had been initiated into sannyas, he said, Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. How can anybody become his guru? So so, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had many followers in the Grihast Ashram, and, but they were great devotees. Advaita Acharya is also the personality of Godhead. He is the expansion from Mahavishnu. So, Ispraka Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ke bhoat anuyayi the, or wo mahan bhakt the. Advaita Acharya bhi Mahavishnu ke avtar hai. The Srivas Pandit, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu performed many of his leela in the home of Srivas Pandit. The Srivas Pandit was also in the family line. But he was a good, he is at the expansion of Narada Muni. And another great devotee who is also in the Grihastha Ashram, Ramananda Rai. Ramananda Rai met Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the banks of the Godavari and they had wonderful talks there. And Mahaprabhu requested Ramananda Rai, come back and live with me in Jagannath Puri. And together every day we can discuss Krishna. to Ramananda Rai. Ramananda Rai said, hey, this is not right. He said, you're the Brahmana, you're from the Brahmana family, and you're the sannyasi, and I am, I'm, I'm low class. I'm like a, like a tundra, almost. Humble. Yeah. Humble. Yeah, he's some, Lower caste person, although he was highly educated, he was Harudra, and he was the governor of the whole southern region there, which was all part of Utkau. At that time, the king of Puri was ruling all of Utkau, and the southern region was in charge of Ramananda. So, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Um, Ramananda Rai se prashna puchte the aur unko uttar dene ke liye bolte the to Ramananda Rai ne kaha oh ye sahi nahi hai aap brahman parivar se ho aap sanyasi ho aap mujhe kaise bol rahe ho jawab dene ko wo kehte the wo to nimna parivar se hain halanki wo bahut shikshit the wo maharaj pratap rudra ke niche un kaam karte the aur jo utkal us bhag ka naam hai uske dakshin bhag ka niyantran but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, 
Kiba Vipra Kiba Nasi Sudra Kini Nai Ye Krishna Tadva Bet Se Guru Hoy, right? Se Guru Hoy. The qualification to be the spiritual teacher, to be the guru, is it, it's not that you have to be a vipra or a, a sannyasi. You may be a vipra, you may be a sannyasi, you may be a grihasta, you may be sudra, but if you know Krishna tattva, then you can become the spiritual teacher. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ne Ramadan tried to this shloka, a kiba vipra kiba nyasi shloka ne ma, ye Krishna tattva ye se guru hoi. Ke aap shayad vipra ho sakte ho, jankar ho sakte ho, lekin guru honi ki yogyata ye hai, jisko Krishna tattva ke baare mein pata hai, ho vyakti guru ho sakta hai. The birth is not the qualification. Somebody may be Brahmana by birth, they may be meat eater, they may be drunkard. You don't know what is the habits today. Kali Yuga Brahman. So, Brahman Brahman So Srila Prabhupada in establishing the Krishna consciousness movement, he made it better very clear that we, we should follow these four principles, the four pillars of religion. The four pillars, Satyam, Sojam, Daya, Tapa. And by following our four regulated principles, this way we, we can preserve some pillars of religion. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu encouraged people in their family life. There was one of his devotees, Shivananda Singh. His wife, Shivananda Singh's wife was carrying a child in her womb. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw, oh, the wife of Shivananda Singh is going to have a baby soon. And he told Shivananda Singh that when your wife gives birth to the child, you give it this name. And Mahaprabhu named the child. So Haridas, when Mahaprabhu heard that Junior Haridas had gone and begged some rice from a, a, a woman, then Mahaprabhu was very upset and he said he should never come in my association again. He rejected him. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ne kaha, abhi dubara is chhota haridas ko mere sang mein mat leke aana. No ne uska tiyak kiya. So Mahaprabhu was not against people being in family life, but it was against hypocrisy that if somebody is dressing in the renounced order of life, but at the same time keeping material desires, then this is very wrong. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu grahas hashram ke virud nahi the. So we have to understand the mood of Mahaprabhu, that he wants all of us to advance in consciousness of Krishna. Krishna and we can advance in any position, in any condition of life. It doesn't matter what ashram you're in. You can make spiritual advancement. 
by chanting the holy name and engaging in devotional service. And we can't do any other ashram. We can't do any other ashram. यदि हम भगवान के पवित्र नाम का जप करें और भक्ति के कार्य में लगे हम आध्यात्मिक प्रगति कर सकते Shri Prabhupada uh, had some interesting encounters one time on uh, Prabhupada was in Hong Kong and this one Indian man came he was an Hindi man actually he came to Prabhupada and he said to Prabhupada, he said, Swamiji, I want to take sannyas. So Prabhupada was surprised, you know, unusual. Somebody in Hong Kong, <laughs> Hong Kong, very materialistic place. And so that somebody's coming, want to take sannyas. And Prabhupada looked at him and said, why? And the man said, oh, I have a wife and four children. Oh, it's terrible. I want to take sannyas. एक बार हांगकांग में शिला प्रभुपाद जी के पास एक व्यक्ति आए और उन्होंने शिला प्रभुपाद जी को कहा ओ शिला प्रभुपाद मैं सन्यास लेना चाहता हूं तो शिला प्रभुपाद आश्चर्य में पड़ गए कि हांगकांग जैसे शहर में आके कोई सन्यास मांग रहा है हांगकांग तो बहुत भौतिक भौतिक इंद्रिय तृप्ति वाला शहर है तो फिर उन्होंने शिला प्रभुपाद को उस व्यक्ति ने कहा ओ शिला प्रभुपाद मेरे पास एक पत्नी है और चार बच्चे हैं मैं परेशान हूं मुझे संन्यास दे दो तो ऑफ कोर्स प्रभुपाद डिडंट गिव दैट मैन बेशक शिला प्रभुपाद ने उस व्यक्ति को संन्यास नहीं दिया बट अनदर टाइम प्रभुपाद वाज इन वृंदावन एंड वन मैन केम फ्रॉम अरिसा this man came and he also said to Prabhupada, he wanted to take Sanya. This Prabhupada initiated him and later on he gave him Sanya talk. This was Gaur Govind Swam, who was a disciple, my God, one of my God brothers, and the disciple of Sri was Prabhupada. So, um... एक बार ऐसे ही शिला प्रभुपाद जी के पास ओरिसा से एक व्यक्ति आए और उन्होंने शिला प्रभुपाद जी को कहा कि मुझे सन्यास दीजिए और शिला प्रभुपाद जी ने उन्हें सन्यास दिया और ये थे हमारे स्वामी महाराज वो महाराज की गुरु भाई तो are they thinking to renounce the world just to become irresponsible or do they have a genuine desire to want to do more service for lord krishna so shila prabhupad ke paas wo samajh thi ki wo vyakti ka irada kya hai wo samajh le uska lakshya kya hai kya wo sanyas lena chahta hai gair zimmedar banne ke liye kya wo bhagwan ki aur seva karne ke liye sanyas lena chahta hai when mahaprabhu took sanyas his mood was like that to do more service for lord krishna the mahaprabhu ne sanyas liya unki manobhavna aisi thi ki wo krishna ke liye adhik seva kare so now is this auspicious month of kartik which is a very very powerful time for all of us to make advancement and to develop more devotion for lord krishna abhi ye bahut hi mahatvapurna समय है हम जिसमें है कार्तिक ये बहुत महत्वपूर्ण है ये महीने में हम अधिक प्रगति कर सकते हैं कृष्ण भक्ति की ओर कृष्ण और हम इस प्रकार से इस महीने में भगवान की सेवा बहुत सरल तरीके से करते जैसे कुछ समय पहले दामोदर आपने गाया और फिर भगवान को और हम केवल ये एक दिन नहीं करते हैं दामोदर महीने में ये हर रोज करते हैं not just only in the evening but we can do it in the morning we can do it in the evening aur humne isse bahut ye keval sham ko nahi sham ko bhi karte hain aur hum subah mein bhi kar sakte hain so this is this very special month of tamadar is 
glorified by all the acharyas. It's a great opportunity for everyone to get rid of bad habits. Bad habits keep us away from Krishna. But the good habits help to bring us to Krishna, to remember Krishna. और इसमें ये बहुत विशेष महीना है आचार्य इसका गुणगान करते हैं कि इस महीने में हम अच्छी आदतें कर सकते हैं अच्छी आदतें हमको कृष्ण के करीब लाती हैं और बुरी आदतें हमको कृष्ण से दूर ले जाती हैं of worshiping krishna agar hum ek kaam har roz karte hain jaise pura ye mahina hum karte hain to aage chal ke hamari aadat ban jati hai aur hum chahte hain ki sabhi logo ko ye aadat lag jaye ki krishna ki pooja karne ki this month of kartik it's the, the final month of the chaturmasya the four, the four months of austerity and in this final month of kartik we make a vow especially we don't take any uh, problem but they don't take earth dog we shouldn't take the earth dog during this you should not take any meat you shouldn't take any fish right you shouldn't take these things or eggs during this month you should be a very strict vegetarian even though you may sometimes be non veg but this month of kartik you want to be very strict and not take any of these foods because it will give you a lot of punya lot of benefit so is prakar se kartik mas chaturmasya ka aakhri mahina hai chaturmasya jo hota hai usme kartik aur shila prabhupad ji vishesh karke hame kehte the ki is mahine urad dal nahi khani chahiye aur is sam is mahine mas bhi nahi khana chahiye machhi bhi nahi khani chahiye to agar koi hai jo वरना मांस मच्छी खाते हैं तो कम से कम इस महीने तो मांस मच्छी नहीं खाना चाहिए इससे हमें बहुत लाभ प्राप्त होगा तो तो हम नहीं कहते कि कार्तिक महीने में चावल नहीं खाओ नहीं चावल खा सकते हैं आज एकादशी है केवल एक दिन हम चावल नहीं खाते वो आसान है तो बंगालियों के लिए चावल छोड़ना और मच्छी छोड़ना तो बड़ा कठिन बात है सो दिस इज अ लिटिल कफाशिया अ लिटिल अस्टेरिटी बट बाय डूइंग अस्टेरिटी वी विल गेट प्यूरिफिकेशन and by that purification we will get real flesh to ye tapasya hai thodi si aur is prakar se tapasya karke hum shuddh hote hain aur jab hum shuddh hote hain to vastavik anand ka anubhav kar sakte hain this is part in shriman bhagavatam lord rishabdev was preaching to his 100 sons and he told them the importance of doing a little ये उद्देश्य श्रीमद भागवतम में बताया गया है महाराज ऋषभ देव द्वारा वो अपने सौ पुत्रों को आदेश दे रहे थे और वो तपस्या का महत्व बताते हैं उस क्या है वो तपस्या मांस पच्ची अंडा नहीं खाना चाय नहीं पीते ये आदत बना दो एक महीने के लिए कृष्ण प्रसाद ले और इस प्रकार से आप गलत आदतों से बच सकते हो Every day, regularly, minimum sixteen rounds. Or every day, 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 every
So during this month of Kartik, many devotees, they make a vow during this month. It's very, not, maybe they don't do it for four months, but at least for the last month, this Kartik month, very special. And they make a vow to chant at least 16 rounds and to follow the principles. No meat, fish, snakes, give up all the bad things. And when they do that, this way, they, they make a lot of progress. They make a very good advancement. <laughs> So, just by doing these things, we show a good example to other people as well. We worship Lord Damodar, we offer the light. Now, some people, they don't have any faith. They don't do these things. I was in Calcutta before I came here. I came from Calcutta. And in Calcutta, just that the night before I came here, we went out and we did Damodar Puja in the street. And many people, hundreds of people, all came to get prasadam and to offer a life to Damodar. <laughs> So some people don't do it, but if they just see other people do it, they get a lot of benefit. Just seeing other people do it, they get benefit too. There's a well-known story which comes in the Puranas. It tells about this one man. He was a sinful person. He was doing things like selling animal skins and bones. But somehow, somehow, he, just by chance, he came to a place during the month of Kati and he saw all the people doing all their puja.